Well, first and foremost, I've known Joe, I've seen Joe play for a number of clubs, even right away back to Celtic. You know, he's experienced in the league. Uh, we're a wee bit short on lefties on that left-hand side. He brings uh, knowledge of the game and experience, and a very, very good footballer. You never see Joe getting flustered, you know, he just keeps, he's got a habit of passing it to his own teammates, and I feel he'll be a fantastic addition to the, to the team, and I think he'll fit right in. Uh, and I really am, really am looking forward to working with him. I missed him when at my time at Inverness. I was away when we went up there, but I was speaking to a good friend of mine uh, that I can trust. And I says that in a, when I told him that I was uh, signing Joe, you know, he looked at me as to say, "Wow, what a fantastic signing!" And not doing to Joe, I have to say that, you know, he's. Um, He's in there at Air United and we had to sort of, you know, get into him, you want to come Joe, it's been a long, long process, but he's the one on that left hand side, you know, just give us that balance and competition for places, you know, but that experience, knowing the league, a winner, a fit boy, a good age, still got the best years in front of him, but hitting his prime, come on Joe, come and, come and help us out and be a part of this great football club. On Saturday we saw the impact of guys like Rhys Cole and Graham Dorn's coming off the bench. What's you say? Competition for places in that midfield area now that guys are getting back up to, to fitness and another one coming in. So I suppose it's headaches for yourself. Yeah, and when I talk, you know, football club, football teams, you need a bit of everything. You know, you need your physicality, you need your runners, you need your runners off the ball, you need your boys are going to dig it out, you know, your wee get in there and get the ball back, but you also need your boys that are going to keep the ball and look after it. You need the boys that are going to unlock the door, you know, like your Don Thomases and your Lawlesses uh, and all that stuff. And you know, if I was to summarise, Joe, Joe will probably fit in there in terms of he, he, he's a technical, very, very good footballer. Never gives the ball away. Knows the game. Knows the position, and brings a barry load of experience to the team. So. Once again, I think the supporters will look at it and go, mm, I can see that. And plus a lefty. You know, I, I'm, I was a right centre half. If I ever got asked to play on the left hand side like Lewis uh, Martin is, you know, I was a little bit out of sync. You know, and that's why even in Lewis doing that, you take your hat off to him because I understand uh, the position, you know, it's no natural. But now Joe playing on that left hand side, it's more natural and you know, it's getting that left foot and hitting those diagonal passes and he'll be linking up with all these technical players and all that stuff. So absolutely delighted that we've done that kind of business and uh, I'm looking forward to working, working with him. You've mentioned previously that the midfield was an area you were looking to strengthen. Do you feel that you've done that now or is that still a position you're looking to maybe add? No, no, I have to tell the fans and I know the frustration. I'm, I'm, my frustration for working 24-7 to try and make it happen. We're playing a practice match tomorrow. And there'll be two trialists playing tomorrow. One of the trialists is probably a done deal, to tell you the truth. Um, but. The process that we're trying to do at Dunfermline is we, we want to see their character, we want to meet them in the flesh, we want to see them playing, we want to see them train, we want to question them, get to know uh, what they're bringing to the table. It's no case of signing them off uh, a video, you know, they have to commit, we want to see their commitment to come up here and train and trial. So one of the trialists tomorrow, if, he, if he's up to it, you know, in terms of the quality we think that he's got, uh, and he shows that, then that'll be another one done. Um, and then just speaking to the support, supporters, you know, we're hoping for now to the end of the window that there'll be another, maybe another one gets added to that. Um, Kyle McDonald, he's went on loan to, to Airdrie, back to his old club. It was the same as Wiggy, his uh, whitey a bit, in terms of a little bit frustrated that he wasn't getting game time. When I come here, Kyle was playing wide right, I can understand why, but as a right back, he sees competition in place uh, uh, for his place, and Aaron Comrie, and also we've got Leon Jones that can play right back as well, and we've got Lewis Martin that can come over, so I feel that's a good bit of business for both parties, because Kyle, at this time of his career, needs to be playing football, 
he'll get that, he comes back to us next year having done that. Um, we've got cover in that right back position and then it frees up a little bit more money to see, to let us go and see what else is out there. Maybe, who knows, maybe in a forward position or, as you say, defender, midfielder. If it's good business for the club, then we'll go and try and do it. Dom and Ian Wilson, they've started training with the first team, albeit it's been in and out, but it's contact. They were done a right good contact session this morning and they'll be part of the team that plays against Falkirk tomorrow and they'll probably get 30 minutes now. If they come through that 30 minutes unscathed, the rehab that they've done in terms of fitness, if it's injury free with no pain, then they might come into contention for Saturday's match against Queen of the South.